Hi, I'm James Warren from OA Systems. Today we're going to have a look at some of the additional features that are included in your license for Dynamics 365 customer engagement. Microsoft comes with a range of features that are currently turned off by default. And some of these can be very useful for organizations and it is a very good idea to be aware of them. The one we're looking at today is gamification. So once you've set up gamification in your system, you'll see that it's added to the menu bar at the top. Gamification has a very particular focus on being able to create a series of KPIs in the system. So in this case, we've worked with the default KPIs that Microsoft provide out of the box, which include things like creating opportunities, creating tasks, generating leads, or closing revenue. And once you've set up these KPIs and made them active, you can then apply them to users and be able to run game formats for them to be able to achieve these KPIs. When you come into this area, you have the option to open up the gamification portal. When you open the portal, it does go to a new UI where you can view how your team is doing against KPI achievement, but all the information does come out of the Dynamics database. By coming into the Commissioner Portal, you can see here an overview of the games as they're running, how much time they've got left to go, and how various members are doing in points and what prizes they've already achieved. Configuring new games, setting up users, configuring teams for those games, and using Stream TV, you can broadcast to various teams and team members how they're progressing against their KPIs and how this relates to a game. Gamification is designed to be able to have multiple games running in operation at the same time. If you want to do this quarterly and also have an additional game running annually, or you want to run different games for different teams. Games in the system are configured around the format of different sports. In this case, as you can see, I've selected track because I want all members of the game to be competing against each other. First to the finish line wins. Although you can configure different formats such as American football, baseball, or a range of other formats, including cricket, um, where you have different members join a team and their achievements be able to count towards the final goals for that team. As you go through, you can configure the KPIs that you've loaded into the system and how you want those KPIs to be able to deliver points to various members as they create leads, create opportunities or win revenue. As you can see, by picking a KPI, you can go in and configure it to a range of different formats to then be able to manage how those points are delivered to best match how your organizations want end users to engage the system. Once you've chosen a game format, you come in and configure your players against the different scoring methods, whether it be as an individual format or a member of a team. The final piece of configuration for setting up a game is the ability to give awards. This means you can either award teams or individuals based on winning the overall game or outstanding achievement of a particular KPI. Once the game is saved, it just requires a commissioner to make the game active and at that point all members of the game will be emailed with links for them to be able to come in and look at the information of how they're progressing during the period of the game. For additional questions or information about gamification, please reach out to me, James Warren at OA Systems.